Corporate jargon is something that we're all guilty of uttering throughout our workday. You might circle back to an email or you might double click into a specific topic. This is just another day in the corporate world and there's nothing wrong with that. On today's episode, we're trying out a new segment called Beyond the Buzzword, where we'll double click into a buzzword and its origin and how it devolved into corporate jargon. Today, we're tackling the original buzzword, synergy, and we'll discuss its rise and fall throughout history, as well as how it might be reclaimed. So let's dive in. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Water Cooler Wisdom. I am Jake Blocker. And I am Rachel Grail. Rachel, great to see you again. I missed you, Jake. It's been a minute. Yeah, for those listening, we've had a little bit of a hiatus of recording. It's been a busy time, so we've had a light hiatus, but we're back to it and powering through some recordings. And how's your life been, Jake? Oh, you know, busy, hot. It's it's early (laughs) summer months, but it's very hot. Uh, And by the time this goes out, it's probably going to be hotter. So So it'll still be relevant. Glad to hear it. Yes. How about yourself? Yeah, same. Very busy. Work is flowing. The garden is growing. I'm already mm. pawning zucchinis off on my neighbors, so can't complain. Life is Those good. Zucchinis, they are basically weeds once you get them going. I just love it. Yeah. Zucchini everything. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> well, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode and also a different episode. Uh, so instead of usually have a guest on no guest this time, it's just, you get the two of us this time and we're going to try something a little different. We'll see if it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And we don't do it again, but if it does, we're going to improvise, we're going to have a good time. We're going to throw some shade. We're going to be self-aware and we're going to see how it goes, huh? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So this one, we are going to focus on corporate buzzwords, uh, just one specifically for this episode. And maybe this will be a series where we talk about different buzzwords, but the the purpose is to speak of the origins of these buzzwords, how they came about, what they actually, the, the intention was for them, and maybe how it went off the rails, some examples of its usage. And also speak to, you know, is this, is this word gone? Is it dead? Do we bury it and move on? Or is there a way to revive this? So we'll speak a little bit to that. And yeah. And the word is synergy. <laughs> synergy. There's no better way to kick off something about buzzwords than the word synergy, yeah. like the, the matriarch, basically, of buzzwords. And we should we should mention that synergy is actually a word that is very near and dear to my heart. I remember when I mm-hmm. first learned about it, I was blown away. I was like, wow, this is such a cool word. And so if you still use the word synergy, you know, I still use the word synergy. We're not hating mm-hmm. on it, but it is one of those things that's become, oh, how shall we say, um, I'd say a crutch is... It's been used as a crutch, yeah. Yeah. And it's been sort of, it's been um, squeezed until it's the the potency of its meaning has gotten a little bit diluted, I think. So, yeah, let's let's learn about how how did we get here, Jake? Yeah, so let me give you a little history lesson and also preface this with apologies of mispronouncing a whole lot of things. So that's going to happen. I'm going to do my best, but I'm human. <laughs> you can always write in and, and correct us. We love we yes. love to hear from you. I love being corrected. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the word synergy. Its origins are from the Greek word synergia, which means working together obvious there, Uh, from sin, S-Y-N, meaning together, and aragon, E-R-G-O-N, aragon. Apologies again, like I said, I'm going to mispronounce things, meaning work. It it also sounds like like the name of like a music festival that would happen in Costa Rica or something. Aragon? (laughs) Synergia. Synergia. (laughs) I want to go there. Who's headlining that? Yeah. (laughs) So this was first recorded in the mid 17th century, initially used to describe cooperation and joint work in theological contexts, particularly the idea of human cooperation with divine grace to achieve salvation, which just sounds lovely. Wow. That is amazing. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful context. It's beautiful. Yeah. Powerful. 
So let's move on to the 19th century when this term began to be used for medical and scientific contexts. And this described different elements such as organs or drugs and how they work together to produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their individual effects. Makes total mm-hmm. sense. Medical use. Absolutely. And and in a way, I mean, it's almost it's almost magic. Some of the 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 power of modern medicine and how sure. we can combine drugs to have them have completely new uses. And mm-hmm. um, that's, that's fairly divine in a way, yeah. I would say. And how so the organs work it, together. Right. From the spirit to the body. Oh, mm-hmm. Fascinating. Well, now we'll go to the really cool place of the business world, <laughs> which is, you know, around the ninth, the ninth, the, sorry, the 20th century, the 1950s, 1960s. And when this came to more popularity in the business world, particularly through the work of business strategists like H. Igor Ansoff, again, apologies on pronunciation, uh, they emphasize the strategic value of combining different business units or resources to achieve greater overall efficiency and effectiveness. So really, the, the, at its core, it's, it is what it meant. That's what it meant. Uh, but then kind of move on to the 80s and 90s is when it really went off the rails and was used more for marketing and, you know, the leadership uh, jargon that we know of it today. Isn't that just like business? And and I think, again, I'm guilty of this, too. We all want to infuse the work that we do every day with this purpose and meaning and power. So we take something that had divine origins, mm-hmm. moving through the, the, the power of medicine, and then we're like, and what we're doing is synergy. synergy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly what we're doing right now. Uh, we're synergizing. Yeah. Do you have any examples of like really great... Uh, lines where this is used because i feel like i've i've heard some but yeah i, I used a lovely chat gpt to give me some so they, they did not disappoint uh <laughs> I all can't right wait to hear this so here's one uh i'm sure we've all heard this i'm, I'm sure we leverage synergy to optimize our cross-functional capabilities and maximize strategic alignments Oh my so gosh. what does that actually mean, please? <laughs> it means whatever you want it to, whatever you think it means to make me sound smart. That's what it means. Yes, exactly. <laughs> leverage is another one. Optimize is another one. That's optimize, a, cross-functional. Ooh, like, yeah, it was, this is the jargon-filled sentence. So well done, Chachi the points on that one. <laughs> yeah, I want one more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ones. I'm eating yes. it up. Uh, our synergistic approach ensures holistic and dynamic solutions across the enterprise. Oh my gosh. You know, what hurts so bad is that I feel like I could go through things that I've written and it would have all of those words. Mm -hmm. All of them. Holistic is one that I thought of. It's like, oh yeah, I used to love that word. And then (gasps) I'm realizing, ugh. Dynamic is another Mm -hmm. one. It's like, and I think about this because... It is so important to try to say what we really mean. And and sometimes when I'm using these words, it's because I'm trying to cram as much meaning as I can into one little short blurb. And in a way, by doing that cramming, I, I almost negate everything that I'm trying to say. If I'm not being specific, if I'm not being accessible to people, um, I'm just... I'm just leaving it up to interpretation, which is maybe okay sometimes, uh, but generally not the most effective way. Yeah. You know, I mean, what we're always taught, especially in business is to be concise. You know, you don't want long emails explaining every minute detail. We're not going to read it. We know this. Our attention span is a few seconds, if that. (laughs) Uh, So these words have their play. Oh yeah, it is. The TikTok generation is, uh, they're doing great things, but TikTok generation is a real thing. Uh, But, you know, that's what these words are meant to help synthesize that's probably another buzzword there oh boy yeah (laughs) there we go uh what we're trying to say into you know one or two words but as we're doing that and and sometimes that that works but i think instead we are not being clear in our communication so we're saying you know we're gonna be synergistic in how we work together how are we working together can you can you elaborate i i I need more details on (laughs) what we are actually doing so 
Everyone's there are like, times great. you actually need to explain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, great, I'm going to be synergistic in my own office alone, synergistic with my spreadsheet or something. Mm-hmm. It, I think that's it. It's like when we leave it up to interpretation, um, we'll, we're going to get as many, as many interpretations as there are people who are the listeners yeah. of that. So w- in trying to say too much, we say nothing at all. Yeah. Well, let's let's ask let's pose the question: Is synergy gone? Is it a word? I will say, like in, when I'm looking at things, I don't see it as much anymore. I think people yeah. understand not to lean on this word; they use other words instead. Yeah. Which we, maybe that's a future episode. But is it? Can we, are we burying it and R.I.P. Moving on. I mean, maybe it's just in a coma, like it's in critical care for a little bit, and people <laughs> understand that it needs it needs a little bit of intensive care, mm-hmm. and we only need to use it when it's really, really applicable, really the right word. And then maybe it, when we use a word like synergy, like holistic, to um, back it up with a little sort of subheading that explains here's what I mean by that. Mm-hmm. So, when people look back on the talk or the, whatever they've heard, they say, okay, I understand what synergy means in that context, because I had the level of specificity that, that drove home the real point rather than just, it was a synergistic approach to the next Mm -hmm. innovation. Yeah. 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 I, I completely agree with that. And I think, you know, going back to its original purpose, what those definitions we talked about, you know, the theological, medical, it makes sense. Like when you're, when we're talking about the synergy of the organs and the drugs working together, that mm-hmm. makes total sense. You're defining how they work together, you're using it to define that versus using it in place of something else and without the mm-hmm. full context. Right. So I think if it's, if it's used in that way, it can work. Mm-hmm. But it's going to, yeah, like you mentioned, critical care for sure. It's going to take some <laughs> reviving. It needs some fluids. It, it needs some rest. And I think it really, it needs us to not be lazy. I need, I, I'm certainly in this conversation looking at the ways that I can be, um, lean on the crutch, like you said, and, and say, oh, I'm just going to use this word because I, I make an assumption that everybody understands what I'm talking about or that everyone is thinking about things the same way that I am. Mm -hmm. And we are all about helping people to work together in a way that uh, allows people to be really aligned, to really understand the point of view of the other person and, and to work together in a way that's effective. And so maybe for me, I'm thinking I need to not be lazy (laughs) in my speaking and speak in a way that brings everybody along that people feel like, they, they understand what I'm saying. And if they don't understand what I'm saying, they can ask questions because I'm not using words that make them say, oh, I can't ask a question because this is a corporate buzzword. And if I ask about it, then it's going to sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I think that's that's perfect. You summed it up very well. <laughs> Tied it with a little did bit I, here. So. Did I synergize it? <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. That was so uh, bad. <laughs> well. I think that's a great way to end it and keep this short and sweet and to the point. All right. Uh, yeah. So let us know if this episode is good. If, if this is something you're interested in, we'll do more of these. I've learned a little bit when I was doing the research on this word. I think I've learned a little bit on how to better use my language. Yeah. Yeah. I learned a lot. I, that research was really fascinating, Jake. Thank you for bringing that. Truly. Nice little sip at the water cooler today. Yeah. Mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for playing along with us while we try out new things and uh, just have a good time with what we're doing and let us know, as Jake said, what you thought of it. And we'll meet you at the water cooler next time for whatever it is that we do next time. (laughs) Whatever it is. (laughs) All right. See you later. Thanks for listening to Water Cooler Wisdom. This podcast is brought to you by Interaction Associates a leading professional development and leadership training organization whose mission is to help people work better together. If you'd like to learn more, visit interactionassociates.com. If you have questions, comments, or are interested in collaborating with this podcast, you can email us at watercoolerwisdom at interactionassociates.com. 